The following events undoubtedly sit as some of the most surreal, surprisingly moving, or simply astonishing to pop up on fan screens in the time since All Elite Wrestling became a thing in 2019, with stunned folks having no choice but to hit those two vertical parallel lines to freeze these fiery, agonizing, or utterly hilarious moments in time. So with that said, I am Gareth, this is What Culture Wrestling, and here are the 12 most paused moments in AEW history. Number 12, Ruby Soho sickening landing on her neck, unfortunately kicking things off with a few accidental moments of horror. The night of All Out 2022 was one to forget for Ruby Soho, taking on Ty Mello and Sammy Guevara alongside Ortiz in a pre-show match, booked to replace the originally planned Guevara vs Eddie Kingston showdown, one scrap due to the pair's backstage altercation coming into the event, Soho ultimately suffered two awful botches in the bout. Both of these soon found themselves being paused and rewound by those honestly worried about the unfortunate star, or just the morbidly curious. Firstly, after being hung up on the Spanish god's shoulders, Ruby was booted to the ground by Ty, but ended up landing incredibly awkwardly on her neck, crumpling in an entirely unnatural position as she connected with the canvas. Fans immediately feared the worst. However, the seriously tough soul soldiered on, and her rewards for doing so? Having her nose completely exploded by a Ty KO knee to the face for the finish. It only gets worse with each subsequent pause and rewind of an unintentionally savage finish which saw Soho, who'd note how she couldn't breathe out of her nose for a few months while recovering, struggling to keep her shoulders down as she clutched her destroyed face during the three count. Number 11, understandably emotional CM Punk guy. United center shaking chants of CM Punk, cult of personality bursting through the speakers, the visual of the man himself finally wandering back into the wrestling world he left behind all those years ago. August 20th, 2021 will forever remain one of the greatest nights in not just AEW history, but modern wrestling as a whole. It was also a surprisingly emotional one. Along with the punker himself tearing up at the truly incredible reaction he received that night, a few fans let out a tear or two in the crowd, with one of them being captured on camera getting completely lost in this surreal moment. But because the internet is often a toxic cesspool, it wasn't long before some horrid idiots poked fun at the guy in this truly raw moment. Punk, being the legend he is though, was quick to defend a passionate supporter of the best in the world. And in a properly cool moment he even met the viral fan backstage at All Out 2021. Something that likely would never have even happened were it not for this moment being paused and posted so many times in the aftermath of the Voice of the Voiceless's comeback. Now I want to know what do you think is the most emotional wrestling moment of all time? Was it CM Punk's comeback or something else? You let me know in the comments section down below. Number 10, Kenny Omega's awful Tiger Driver landing. Fans have largely become desensitized to just how painful something as simple as your run-of-the-mill power slam is to take. Trust me, it sucks. However, some bumps can still leave folks reaching for the nearest bucket or letting out an involuntary sound of anguish, specifically those that involve being dumped head slash neck first at a sickening angle. And joining Ruby Soho as a talent whose shocking net landing quickly became one of the most paused and replayed events in AEW history, Kenny Omega's decision to eat the Tiger Driver 91 like an absolute madman versus Will Ospreay is as barbaric as non-plunder bumps can get. Fans and critics were quick to question whether attempting this kind of evidently dangerous move was really a safe thing to do in between the ropes, with each screenshot and replay of the impact just leaving folks wondering how Omega actually managed to walk out of the arena that night. The guy is superhuman, but the cleaner would later go on to defend the shocking moment which produced one of the biggest reactions of the entire Forbidden Door 2023 pay-per-view, telling his critics via Uproxx, I would never do something I didn't trust myself in performing 100%. Not even a bump this disgusting can keep a master like Kenny by God Omega down, folks. Number 9, John Moxley sticks out at Wembley, literally sticking with those moments too gloriously disgusting to not relive. 2023's Wembley roller coaster that was all in contained one of the most absurd All Elite visuals yet. That is saying something. When you chuck the likes of John Moxley, Eddie Kingston, the best friends, and a ton of other violent bastards into a stadium-wide brawl, the end results are bound to be a little bananas. And that's just one of the ways to describe the sight of Mox getting well and truly stuck during the stadium stampede war. Following on from the lunatic already experiencing a balmy chopstick skewering in a New Japan Pro Wrestling match in July, Mox brought that mad spot to London, with Penta El Zero Miedo being the one to make sure the sticks were all in on August 27th. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? It's tough to figure out which regularly poor shot was gnarlier. The sticks all clumped together hanging out of the former AEW world champion's skull, or the moment Mox subtly adjusted the wood to make himself look like a fierce bird of paradise. Silly and disturbing all at once. Number 
Number 8. Hangman Page drinks Swerve Strickland's blood. There was a time not that long ago when seeing the red stuff gush out of a performer's skull on a mainstream North American wrestling show was something of a rarity. However, those days are now well and truly in the past, with AEW and even WWE getting bloody when the moment calls for it. Now sure, that has led to the sight of a star getting busted open being not quite as impactful anymore thanks to the law of diminishing returns, but AEW has actually still found a way to properly stun its bloodthirsty audience with its use of plasma, by literally showing off a bloodthirsty cowboy. In a moment so outrageous and sick it simply needed to be paused to check you hadn't just fallen asleep mid-mammoth AEW pay-per-view, and this was indeed reality, Hangman Adam Page took his vicious rivalry with Swerve Strickland to another level at Full Gear 2023 by guzzling his enemy's own blood. At a point in time where wrestling fans truly feel like they've seen it all when it comes to deranged violence, this graphic Texas death spot was as novel as it was unhinged, and became the lasting image coming out of the November 18th show. That was some vampire sh**. Number 7. Who you gonna call the Stay Puffed Hangman? Get yourself a hangman who can do both, baby. If you ever needed a reminder of the unbelievable range possessed by the anxious millennial cowboy, then hold up the paused image of that aforementioned blood drinking moment, alongside the image of him revealing himself behind a doomed Matt Jackson on the night of October 27, 2021's Dynamite. Fully embracing all things Halloween, the Young Bucks, Adam Cole and Kenny Omega opted for Ghostbusters outfits, as they clashed with Paige's Dark Order mates. But after seemingly taking out all the members of the clan, including a mystery person hiding underneath a horse mask, the truth was soon hilariously revealed, with Brandon Cutler actually being revealed as the BTE-triggered soul in that animal costume. It all but confirmed he was actually walking around as the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man throughout the bout. Sure enough, with the crowd absolutely losing their minds, Paige slowly peeled away the mask as Matt Jackson's face told the story of a bloke who knew he was about to be flattened by a sweet treat. Meme to death in the years that followed, and right so, this was a tremendously satisfying shot that only gets funnier the longer you look at both of the sensational performers hugely expressive mugs. Cheers for watching this video today folks and if you're enjoying what you're watching then hit that subscribe button down below for more of this what culture wrestling madness in your life. Number 6. Darby Allen's Glass Bump You can probably take your pick when deciding on a regularly paused and replayed Darby Allen moments of madness to chuck on this list, but possibly his most ridiculous moment to date occurred during the magnificent final match for the legendary Sting against the Young Bucks at Revolution 2024. Allen is no stranger to chucking himself off of stupidly tall ladders on AEW programming, infamously crunching his body into a bunch of steel chairs off a frighteningly high one against Jeff Hardy in 2022. But the addition of a pane of glass for a similar spot, one which saw Nicholas Jackson pulled out of trouble just in the nick of time, during that recent pay-per-view led to an even more hideous bump. Along with choosing to frequently replay the crazy sequence because of just how damn surreal seeing a human tumble from so high up through a glass and chair bed below is though, fans also found themselves understandably slamming the pause button in the moments immediately after. Despite Alan later claiming that the bump itself somehow didn't suck and he actually felt fine, the very real hole in his side caused by that move left the star looking like he tumbled right out of a slasher movie. So of course many an all elite fan stopped the action to get a closer look at the legitimately nasty cuts. That only required 12 stitches to close. Absolute madness. Number 5. Matt Hardy disgusting landing, from one terrifying All Elite bump to another. However, while Darby Allen's revolting fall at Revolution was seemingly executed as insanely planned, the same could not be said for Matt Hardy's infamous and often replayed All Out 2020 disaster. Speared off a scissor lift by Sammy Guevara as the two competed in a broken rules match at Daly's place, the outer control pair overshot the table below, and the Hardy boy's head horribly smacked off the concrete. Matt would eventually openly take the blame for things not being in the right position that night, with the legend who was controversially allowed to continue on in the match somehow escaping this scary moment without a concussion. It was that disturbing and often screenshotted image of a clearly out of it Matt being attended to by Dr. Michael Sampson, which left many questioning that aforementioned call to let Hardy carry on. And the entire unsettling scenario is one the company would probably prefer fans to forget. But it's a dangerous spot that was regularly paused and replayed by concerned and morbidly curious viewers that night, and will forever 
remain a low light of an already often bleak pandemic period in wrestling. Number 4. An Exploding Superkick As already highlighted on this list, and will be once again before its conclusion, the consistently fantastic stadium stampede slash anarchy in the arena stipulation has brought some of the most creative and memorable moments in AEW history to fan screens. Oh, and also some of the most explosive. It's a chaotic match that just needs to be rewatched thanks to the sheer amount of ludicrous carnage going down across the venue. It is very easy to miss something with so much madness going on, but even when you do catch them, the various innovative spots and bumps themselves are often too good to watch just the one time. And some are even so mind-blowing and unexpected, you're left pausing and rewinding just to figure out how they pulled off the damn thing. That certainly applies to Matt Jackson's exhilarating exploding superkick on John Moxley during Double or Nothing 2023's Anarchy in the Arena brawl. But the young bug performed the nutty kick of fire to the face so effectively, all the pausing in the world still doesn't offer the truth behind how he achieved this magical sneaker eruption. All we know is that Matt had to get a special Nevada State Fire Performers license before exploding Mox's head that night. That wasn't the last hot piece of elite action to go down during this stipulation either. Number 3. A Burn in Perry A year on from that terrific Air Jordan explosion, the elite were at it again with the highly plausible spots during Double or Nothing 2024's version of the marvellous Anarchy in the Arena match. It wasn't Matt Jackson's chair sequel to that aforementioned exploding superkick that stole the headlines and dominated news feeds coming out of the show though. It was another elite member, this time on the receiving end of a hot piece of action. After introducing a flamethrower to the feud on Dynamite coming into the pay-per-view, Darby Allen brought back the fire for the four-on-four fight after dumping Jack Perry in an ice bath earlier in the showdown. Then, just when it looked like the scapegoat was about to batter his boss in front of thousands of screaming fans, Allen suddenly transformed him into the hottest act in AEW, producing a totally preposterous moment that you simply had to pause and repeat a few times just to believe. And that earlier bath spot appears to have actually been a clever way of disguising the fact that Perry had seemingly been secretly covered in fire retardant gel as the action continued, protecting the one-time jungle boy when he was finally shockingly turned into a burning man by Darby. Number 2. Kenny Omega is not impressed Back when Kenny Omega was on the road to becoming one of the real highlights of Dynamite throughout the pandemic era, the cleaner seemingly made it his mission to not just put on even more incredible displays in between the ropes, but also become the best meme machine too. Before dancing his way into Daly's place like a villainous goof though, Omega memorably went viral back in October 2020 due to his absolutely golden reaction during the opening stages of the AEW World Championship Eliminator Tournament. Fans simply had no choice but to bring that addition of Dynamite to a screeching halt just to bask in the hilariously unimpressed look on Omega's mug after quickly besting Sunny Kiss in the first round. The first few glimmers of the glorious arrogance that would later be seen exuding from the brilliant heel belt collector character were seen all over Kenny's face here, and it's an expression the cleaner was evidently dangling out there for the world to screenshot. And screenshot they did, soon unleashing the perfect response for anyone looking to show their followers how unamused they were by life's many obstacles. Number 1. Cody Rhodes Burns His Body Against Andrade A few years before Jack Perry was so hot right now, Cody Rhodes similarly caught fire on AEW programming, whereas the scapegoat managed to walk out of Double or Nothing 2024 without his skin melting off though, the American Nightmare wasn't quite as lucky during his December 2021 Dynamite Street Fight with Andrade El Idolo, and instead of brilliantly disguising the fact he was set to potentially catch fire at some point in the action, the fact Rhodes could very much be seen strutting around the ring with some burn protection gel on his back, had many assuming something big was a coming. And they were right. In the match's climax, Cody ridiculously decided to reverse suplex his rival through a blazing table off the top rope. Because he has a death wish, I think. But all the gel in the world seemingly could not keep this eventual WWE champion from burning on the night. With the visual of bits of table hanging off the scorched one-time EVP, and his arm briefly catching fire being so surreal and graphic, the fans just had to hit pause for a closer look. Cody may be long gone from AEW today, but this fiery moment will forever sit as one of the most balmy, perilous, paused, and replayed finishes the company will ever produce. And speaking of Cody, if you enjoyed this video, then why not click on this what if Cody Rhodes never quit WWE in 2016 one too? It's a hell of a time, trust me. Bye-bye.